don't blame yourself Apostle Paul Holy Spirit warned Apostle Paul about going to Jerusalem explicitly and numerous times God told Paul if you go to Jerusalem they'll lock you up but you never see Paul blaming God after going in chase now we don't know exactly whether it was his mistake or it was God's will fully it's a very debatable subject and I've read it so much even this week theologians are disagreeing one with another and I'm gonna leave that for theologians to do that in a seminary but what I want to leave it to here is I've never seen once Apostle Paul blaming himself and saying man I should have stayed away from Jerusalem you don't see Paul saying God where are you God how is it that this hand got bitten by a snake and you healed it but you can't remove my chains how is it God that these hands healed the heathens but you can't deliver these hands out of chain how is it God I was in prison in one city and you shook the whole city to get me out and now I've been here for five years and I'm still in my chains you don't see Paul ever complaining blaming God or himself you see him plowing like a bull knowing if I spend a minute complaining or blaming it will only make me stuck in this and listen I know where I belong and it's not here remove blame game completely do not blame yourself even if the situation you are in you are a hundred fifty percent responsible for it your mama told you not to do it your brother told you not to do it everyone told you not to do it everyone and you still did it do not spend one minute blaming yourself when you ask God for forgiveness blame only puts you deeper into that problem I just had an opportunity to minister to one particular person who uh, made a decision to commit abortion many years ago and this particular person wonderful person begin to break down and cry and say that ever since that day I tried to do good things to prove that I'm a better person and this person goes on to say says that the harder I tried the worse I got so I've gotten so worse and this person began to mention the things that they were currently doing that I was like oh my goodness how are you able to do this and and this person said that I let my self-esteem drop so low all because I've done something so bad that I cannot forgive myself I asked this person have you asked God for forgiveness and this person says there has not been a day I asked God for forgiveness and I asked this person second question have you received forgiveness and this is what this person said I don't know what you're talking about I said asking for forgiveness and receiving forgiveness are two different things I led this person in a prayer and I said after this prayer God forgave you I want you to stop asking for that and when the thought of guilt comes in you tell yourself I've been forgiven it is wrong to make another car payment after you receive the letter that your car is paid in full I said you no, no longer need to pay for your sin if Jesus died to pay for your sin and this person who said well but I cannot forgive for what I've done I mean I you know this this is so bad I, I said yes it is very bad but if God being so holy and being so out there could forgive you being down here who you think you are that you can forgive yourself when did you elevate yourself higher than God that you can release yourself forgive yourself if God being holy can forgive you being sinful listen you're not holier than God not to forgive yourself lose yourself just let yourself go and simply say I've done it that was wrong I won't do it again if you keep blaming you will relive it again but if you receive forgiveness not ask what you've done a million times but receive that Jesus died on the cross and that was enough I don't have to pay another day for my sin because Jesus' cross and His blood, your life will change in Jesus' name. Now, does that mean there's no consequences? Does that mean that you call your jail, Penn County Jail, and you simply say, I know I owe you guys 12,000, but Jesus paid all of my debts, amen. No, those debts, you still have to pay. Those tickets, you still have to pay. Maybe supernaturally, God will give you a breakthrough, but you still have to take care of some of those things, but we're talking about between you and God. Can somebody say amen? you can overcome you're not going to be restricted even if you're afflicted amen the bible says the more egyptians afflicted israel 
the more they multiplied. You will succeed in spite of that in Jesus' mighty name.